Okay, we need to talk about Farigaraf. It's a new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet and the evolved form of Girafferig, a Generation 2 Pokemon that has long deserved an evolution. Unlike Girafferig, Farigaraf can sweep an entire team in a matter of seconds. The secret is in its ability, Armor Tail, which prevents you from being hit by a priority move. As a result, if you go for an agility to become faster and Calm Mind to make yourself stronger, you become near unstoppable. In this video, I'll be revealing the best sets you can run on your Farigaraf and show you how to wield this powerful Pokemon in battle so that every opponent becomes scared of this giraffe. Let's get into it. So the first set here is the deadliest set you can run. Agility plus Calm Mind with Weakness Policy and Store Power, which does more damage the more boosts you have. With the ability Armor Tail, which prevents you from being hit by Sucker Punch, Mach Punch, Ice Shard, Extreme Speed, and much more, you can safely agility up and be faster than every Pokemon without worrying about being revenge killed by priority moves. This also includes prankster priority like Taunt Grimmsnarl, can't really shut you down either. Calm Mind I found to be more useful over Nasty Plot since the added special defense boost helps you tank things a bit better. We invest fully to defense over HP because its HP stats already huge, the calculations show that a significant increase to physical bulk is there by just going full defense, and we have Calm Mind to boost our special defense anyways. This defense allows you to sponge things like U-turn, knockoff, and stuff like that pretty easily, and proc your weakness policy. Max speed with timid nature is needed to outrun as much as possible after a single agility, and the translation type is fighting, because you gain valuable resistances to dark and bug while also being able to rip apart dark types like Tyranitar, King Gambit, the Chinese legendaries, and more with Terra Blast, which I should add is normal stab before terrestrialization, which I think is pretty cool. The neat thing about store power is that you can overwhelm Pokemon that have unaware due to the base power of the move increasing from your stat boosts. When using this set, I would pair it with Pokemon that sets up light screen, reflect, and stuff like that so that you could get a considerable amount of bulk behind screens, allowing you to set up even more. Now before we get to the next set, I'd like for us to leave a comment and tell me what do you like the most about this new generation. I'd like to know. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. I got the knowledge for you all. I got the keys to the easiest wins in this game. And I'm giving it to you, so the support is much appreciated. Next set we have here is a Choice Specs for Rigoraf. You want to hit super hard with one click, then this set is for you. Twin Beam is actually a pretty cool move. It's like a psychic type dual chop, but a special attack. Could be pretty cool to run something versus like a lead Glamora for example and knock it out through Focus Sash without activating its toxic spike ability. Other option of course is Psy Shock if you want to hit Blissey for more damage. Terra Blast Ghost is a cool option to be able to hit other ghost types that won't go for Shadow Ball versus you because you're a normal type. And then Thunderbolt for things like Corviknight. Trick is a great way to be able to cripple a wall or an annoying Pokemon and lock them into one move. And that's the set that we have here. So the next set we got now is a Nasty Plus set with three attacks, utilizing another of its abilities called Kudchu. Kind of sounds like Cubchu, but anyways, that's my pun brain at work there. This ability consumes your berry twice, so we have Citrus Berry to restore 50% health if we get to like 50% HP or below. The EV spread that we have here is a wild one, but let me explain. The HP in defense lets you survive an attack boosted headlong rush from Great Tusk. The HP in Spadef lets you survive the Dark Pulse from Choice Scarf Chiyu. And the speed outruns Corviknight. And we go modest since it boosts our highest stat special attack. It's a very offensive set anyways, so that's what we're going to do. And yeah, that's the set. Terra fighting because it's just the best offensive type for a setup variant of Farigaraf to destroy dark types and gain valuable resistances. Okay, here's where things get a little interesting. First few sets have been quite offensive overall. Now we get into a pretty defensive set here. Wish support for Rigoraf can be a really nice way to give your team support through wish recovery. I really like Thunder Wave here to be able to cripple other Pokemon, but you could also go Calm Mind if you want to devote this thing to being a bulky wish Calm Mind sweeper. You'll just have to get rid of opposing dark types first. Steel is the best typing for the set because the last thing a defensive Frigoraf wants is to be poisoned, and this prevents that. Eevee spread is very bulk oriented, can sponge a wide variety of hits. And the final set I'd like to show you all is a nice Chinese AV Frigoraf with Charge Beam to boost special attack. Moves are pretty self-explanatory, altogether they hit a lot of stuff in the tier. And the Eevee spread is the same as the Citrus Nasty Plot one which I really like a lot. Good balance of bulk and power. Other mentions of possible things you can do with Frigoraf, it's possible to utilize this thing on Trick Room either as a Trick Room setter or some kind of a Specs or Offensive variant that you can run with Min Speed so that you can be faster under Trick Room. It does also get access to some physical attacks as well along with Sap Zipper, but in my opinion it's inferior in the current metagame. To the other sets, there's not really a lot of threatening grass types that can boost Sap Zipper and I guess uh, yeah, it's like not really worth running any kind of physical attack on this thing. And those are the sets. This should be all you need to become a Farigaraf master. And now, it's time for the battles. 
was pop and I'm here with the powerful almighty Furigraph team. The way that I wanted to run it was simple. We use Furigraph as the setup sweeper. Then we have dual screens, Grim Snarl to ensure that we can set up a lot easier to allow ourselves to take less damage overall. We got the Hazards Glamora, which is there for the spikes, the rocks, the toxic spikes from the ability and just be able to pressure our opponent that way, especially when we have Golden Go to prevent hazard removal, blocks Rapid Spin and Defog with its good as gold ability. And then two nice and broken sweepers alongside Frigograph in Annihilate and Dragonite. Very, very powerful team. Has a lot of uh, counterplay to stuff you find in the current meta. And um, it's just a really annoying uh, type of build to deal with, especially when you have screens and, and hazards and stuff. And you could prevent Defog too by switching this thing in. Really solid. And so, yep, we got the weakness policy for Igarath. It's going to be able to get policy boosts from knockoff, U-turn, etc. And I think it's going to be very, very dangerous in uh, the games that we play. So let's go ahead and hop into our first game. Hopefully we could get some sweeps. In the worst case, I do have a ton of replays where I did sweep. So I don't see why we can't sweep at, in at least one game in this video. Unless we get super unlucky, but let's find out. And hopefully uh, we get a good game here. Furigraph's really cool. I do wish its typing was different though. It, it does keep the same typing as uh, Giraffarig. All right, here's our first game. What do we have here? So it took a little while to find a game, but okay. So it would seem as if hazards are not the greatest option because they do have magic bounce. I do still think though I'm going to lead with it and just go right for the uh, probably the power gem. Get some damage on this thing. They water pulse here. And then I'm just going to uh, set up rocks. And they did not even go to magic bounce. So nice. We do have hazards up. So let's go Grim Snarl here and set up a light screen. Nice. Set up a reflect. Or actually we could also spirit break first just to lower its special attack. We're actually faster too. Now let's get a uh, reflect up here. As they go right into this mon for some unknown reason. I'm going to taunt just in case they try to set up Trick Room or something. Yeah, <laughs> I figured as much. It looks like a Trick Room mod. I've never seen one of these before, but it does look like a Trick Room mod. And so now what we can do is just Spirit Break this. Lower its... Uh, ooh, nice little crit there too. They have Life Orb as well. So, let's go into Farigraph here and start the uh, agility process. They go King Gambit. If we agility up... We're probably going to live this hit, right? We get a policy boost and then we Terra Blast. This will be nice. Okay, watch this, watch this. This will be quite nice. So let's go ahead and agility up first. They do have the uh, strength of the Supreme Overlord, but only one Mon fainted, so I don't think it'll be as strong, hopefully. Okay, nice. Policy boost. Ooh, it's time. Let's go ahead and just uh, Terra Blast here. Yep, and they get Sucker Punch because we got the Armor Tail. Ah, let's go, let's go. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. One more turn of Light Screen left. So... I guess uh, we'll have to see... We'll have to see if we can uh, knock out this Hatterene that comes in. A stored power should be doing a decent amount though. Could also calm mine, but I don't think I will. In case they uh, trick room or something. So we'll go ahead and attack this thing right now. Disconnection and left. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Not to the Farigaraph. So hopefully they don't come back. I think Annihilate also kind of just wins now too. Because it seems that Grimmsnarl is faster than uh, Klawitzer. And probably everything else is really slow too. So this should be pretty good. Yeah, I don't see us losing this. Because we have Golden Go as well. And uh, yeah, this looks like a full-on Trick Room team pretty much. Now that I look at it. Nice, Furigaraft in the first game. 
and that's pretty much how it goes. Like, that's pretty much how it works. They can't priority us because the armor tail just came into play right from the beginning, which I really love to see. Nice. Good game. And they're gone. They just disconnected and left. Ah, not bad. To the next. So that first game magic. Always, uh, what you love to see in an MV video, that first game magic. Okay, here kind of looks like a Glamora lead, and um, if they want to set up Iron Defense all the way up, is that a problem for us? No, I don't think so. I think we just set up rocks, and then we can uh, probably get all our hazards up here. They don't seem to have uh, hazard control, though, which is Quite interesting. Alright. I can't rapid spin either because I'll just die to hazards. I'm going to actually go hard Grimmsnarl here. And immediately set up... Uh, I, I think I'll taunt first. This is probably Earthquake, Spikes, Rocks and stuff. If I just taunt here, it'll be good enough. Nice. Taunted. Okay, cool. Now we can just click Reflect. Light screen. And then, I'm not sure what this is going to do. U-turn, okay, let's spirit break here for some chip. And this is in fact not defiant. They sucker punch, okay, nice. This gives us the uh, Fergograph here. We can agility up. And so now, okay, this is good, this is good. This is good. <laughs> I'm liking this so far. Let's go ahead and Terra Blast here. And gone. Even though I think a normal Terra Blast probably knocked it out, but still. Store power time. <laughs> okay, okay. Gone. The Dawn is in though. Store power here should probably do a decent amount. 54, that's respectable. That is very respectable. Let's knock you out too. Ooh, Yawn Protect, okay. Do you have a healing move on this thing? The heavy duty boots, which is interesting. So they'll knock me out with the body press. Uh, and then here, what we can do is we can go into probably Golden Go. And um, make it rain is the, is the better play here. Yeah, good damage. And gone. And then Dragapult's in now. This thing is heavy duty boots as well. We go Glamora to sack. We then go uh, Golden Go and click Shadow Ball here. Ooh, Terrastal. Ooh. Okay, okay. So then, hmm. In this case, what we need to do is we have to go Dragonite. We have to immediate Earthquake here. Because we need to get rid of this, this Pokemon. If we get rid of that, I think Annihilate puts in the work. Yawn Protect Body Press. Okay, this Mon's back. So now what do we need to do here? I think we have to Earthquake. Chilling Water Attack. Okay, that's fine. We basically just keep clicking this, uh, this move. We get this low enough, Annihilate comes in and, and wins, I think. So I attack this again. Then now it's doing no damage, so we have to go Annihilate here. Can't Rapid Spin, not today, not today. And then we just um, bulk up here. Rage Fist time. They've already Terrestrialized, I think, so... This should be good, yep, Dawn is gone. And then last is this Mon, where we can just Rage Fist again and win. Good game. So I think a very clutch turn was definitely clicking the steel move on the incoming uh, Garganacle. That was a really good uh, play there because after that we were able to just knock out everything else. Um, so that was fun. That was fun. And Ferrigraph once again knocking out a King Gambit. <laughs> and 2KOing the uh, Dondazo. It's really good. I love the way that store power actually goes through unaware mons. You don't have like the boost in power though, but like the base power increase uh, because of the uh, the damage boost, or the uh, stat boost, I should say, was uh, was nice to see. 
doing more damage to those kinds of Pokemon. Uh, before we hit the next game, actually, I want to just change Terra Blast that I noticed into Focus Blast. Because we're not Terrasalizing this one, so I think Focus Blast all around better. And now to the next. Continuing on. Okay, so we have another, another Glamora here. I think we have to... I think I know what we must do. We must, uh, we must lead Grimmsnarl. And just immediate taunt here is the play. Let's get our uh, screens up here. Light screen reflect. Reflect here. They trick. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. And um, Furigraph is the play now, I think. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, agility up here. They might be worried about Shadow Ball. No, they're not. Okay, so let's go ahead and comment up now. And comment again. <laughs> Beautiful. We're getting some boosts here. Now we should easily be able to 2 it KO Golden Go when it comes back in. Maybe. Look at these boosts up here. Glamora's in, so now we just uh, store power. We don't have to Terrasalize or anything yet. They are Sash. They did not decide to Mortal Spin, and that is their mortal mistake. Let's go ahead and Terra Blast here for some chip. Or I'll just store power again so they don't they don't know my coverage. <laughs> I'll store power again. Kind of curious uh, what they're trying to do. We actually, this might be a sweep. Like right now, this might be a sweep. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. We have all the defense we need to take on uh, Dragonite, or take a hit from it, I should say. We can't get extreme speeded. Ooh. Okay, this will be interesting. I wish this guy could make a move though. <laughs> Too busy worried about getting swept when you're getting swept. Yep, gone. One turn of Reflect left. I have a Light Clay, which I don't need. But I don't mind. Alright, nice. So now we just, uh, I don't even think they're faster. Yeah, they can't extreme speed either. <laughs> ah, not bad, not bad. Golden goes in. Golden, go away. 61%. Make it rain. Not doing quite enough. And now we get to trash lies into fighting. I think we just got a 6 0 for Rigoraf sweep. You gotta leave a like for this. Yo, you gotta leave a like for this. Ooh. This might be a 6 0 for Rigoraf sweep right here. We actually got it. <laughs> we actually did. Hold up. I don't know if they have any terrestrialization types that can actually, um... That can actually, uh... Bounce back from the situation they're in. I don't think they can. I do not believe so. They have to believe that we have some kind of coverage for King Gambit. They're gonna go into it and try to figure, that, figure it out. Like, they're gonna try. Yup, terrible last time. <laughs> <laughs> Terrasalization, gotta love it. Ah, <laughs> not bad. This was a beautiful, beautiful game. I'm so happy we got it. Six owed for Rigoraft. That's what you love to see. Ooh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I was really hoping we'd get a, a Rigoraft sweep, and we did. We did indeed, and in style too. Terrestrialization, store power, everything like that. Put in the finest of work. So happy to see. Um, to the next one. And I've, I've tested this team a little bit here and there. I've tested a few versions like with Nasty Plot um, over Calm Mind. Nasty Plot's pretty good too, but Calm Mind I think makes all the difference in terms of bulk. As you can see, we were taking hits from Golden Go on the special side. And I mean, you know, on the physical side, there's a lot of physical priority moves which are blocked by Armatail. And then we just tank the other ones which always is what you love to see. Let's lead with Grimmsnarl here. 
I, I always know that it's always Glimora versus Glimora leads. They run Earth Power and stuff like that. I just run Power Gem because I feel like Power Gem actually hits a lot more in the tier. Um, in terms of, uh, like, for example, like this team hits Volcarona, Dragonite, Chenpo, and all kinds of other stuff. So let's just go ahead and taunt this. Immediate taunt. And uh, let's get our screens up. So let's first one. First is uh, light screen, then reflect. Seems a little better. Yeah, nice. And let's go ahead and taunt you. And then after we get the reflect up, I feel like we could probably... I mean, even Dragonite looks like it kind of just wins in the end. Yeah, now we just uh, reflect here. Get the other screen up. So that we'll be all ready to go. So this is a regular Fire Dance Volcarona. I'm not sure. It could be Terrestrialization of some other type. Um, they do have a boost, though. I'm going Glamora here. <laughs> And just power gemming this thing. Immediately, I think, is the play. Immediate power gem. And goodbye to Volcarona. Now, the play here, I think, is to set up rocks and then go into a Frigoraf. Because it's going to break the Glamora Sash. Now we're actually Choice Scarf on this thing, which is actually not bad. Because if you think about it, we're going to be faster to get off fast power gems on stuff. The side shock here is doing nothing. Let's agility up. Agility up here, and then I think we just uh, calm mind up once. Calm mind here should be the play. They decide a mortal spin, which is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, calm mind up again. I think we have enough turns to start knocking things out. Yeah, let's go ahead and store power here. And gone. I don't know if I want to terrestrialize this thing. I could, potentially, but I don't know if I want to. I kind of do want to, don't I? Like, it looks... Like, terrestrialization looks like it's going to be really good. Not not against this, though. So we're just going to store power immediately here. Ooh, damage! And they crit us. We both crit each other. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay, so now it looks like what we do here is we... Could potentially go annihilate. We could very well potentially go annihilate here and maybe win, or we go into Dragonite here and Dragonite up, which is another play we could do. I think let's do Dragonite first and DD up here because if they want to terrestrialize to try to beat us, then we can terrestrialize after accordingly. So now, yep, this is good. Let's go ahead and just Ice Spinner here. And gone. Now they go Chen Po. I think here we will just extreme speed. And so they Ice Shard. Now we go Annihilate. We click Bulk Up Water Translation, I think. Bulk Up Water Translation should be the play. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Rage Fist time. Or we could Bulk Up again. This did a lot of damage for a resisted ice shard. <laughs> it's kind of a lot. Just gonna rage fist here. Yep, pop the multi scale and then rage fist again. I don't know if they want to translate this or not. Nope, they don't. But it lived. Oh wow. I'm gonna drain punch here. Thunder punch. So now things are looking pretty good for us. Pretty good. We've been hit twice now, right? So this should be dead. Okay. And so I don't think Annihilate can knock us out in one hit, unless they decide to terrestrialize themselves. But our Rage Fist is powered up. It's Rage Fist here. And dead. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Just what you love to see. And Ferrigraph actually put in some pretty decent work here as well. Um, which is nice. And knocking things out is as easy as one, two, and three. Three sweepers on the team for this one. Not bad. Probably get like a good few more games for this one. Ah, stall. <laughs> Wonderful. Get to play against stall.
That's too kind. However, do I see hazard removal? No, I don't. I don't see hazard removal at all. So I'm going to have to play around this a little bit. Yeah, let's just get let's just get two layers right now. Two layers is good. And then uh I don't know if they're locked into Shadow Ball or not, but I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl and just set up my uh, light screen reflect. Just get our screens up here. Let's taunt you. So you can't do your... Uh... Oh, actually, no, they're gonna rapid spin, right? So they do have uh, hazard control. Let's go Golden Go. Yeah, I know, I know you. I know you. <laughs> oh, they're AV. Ooh, they're AV. I want that. I want that item. <laughs> I actually kind of want that item. Uh, okay, nice. Let's go for the Make It Rain again. And gone! <laughs> Thank you for the AV. Now I can sponge hits better from all kinds of Pokemon. Like this one, for example, maybe. So I think here, actually, uh, probably just attack what's in front of me. Yeah, and let's go Grimmsnarl here. Let's get our Reflect up. Should be good. Now this is nice and weak. They can't rapid spin or anything either. The Don Dazo. Taunt. Can't curse on me. Let's get a, a little light screen up too. So they do have body press, it seems. Which, um, you know, is pretty good. Let's go Annihilate. The stall, the stall Destroyer Annihilate. I'm just gonna bulk up a couple times. <laughs> it's not bad at all. And taunt here. I don't actually. I don't even need the screens to be honest. Here's what I'm gonna do. In order for me to power up Rage Fist, I'm just gonna translate this mon. Uh, let's taunt here. Bulk up. Mm-hmm. And then let's taunt. And then let's terrestrialize into water. Now let's taunt here. Get hit a couple times, you know what I'm saying? And it's good it's cool too because we have uh <laughs> we have uh hazards up too, so they can't spin it away. It's always nice to be able to break through stall. Let me get a little health back. Taunt here's the play. Ragefish should be powering up a lot now, I think. Let's see how much it does now. 28. Consistent. Consistent. How much is it doing now? Should be doing more, right? Okay. Respectable. We can knock it out here. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Yep, and good game. 6 0 stall. <laughs> nice and destroyed. Love to see stall getting ripped apart by our team here, too. So, I mean, this team has ways of beating offense, it has ways of beating balance, and it has ways of beating stall. A team that can deal with many and all. <laughs> I am a rhyming wizard. To the next. Ooh, okay. They got double starters. They do have the magic, the bounce. The magic, the bounce. I'm just gonna mortal spin this and uh, power gem for some damage. I could also save this mod. I'm actually gonna go uh, Grim Snarl here. So we got a little poison on this. We can actually bring it back to get a T spike up if we have to, or if we if we can. They do have the iron mod though, so it's not even worth it to be honest. But uh, I'm just gonna power gem anyways. Yeah, that's actually really good damage. Not bad. Um, and then here, all we gotta do is just go Grimmsnarl. Probably could just Spirit Break this to knock it out. Nice. And so that Mon's out of the way. Meowth is in. We get the... Uh, um, we get the Spirit Break here. So it's always going to be critting, right? Which means that... I still think a Reflect is, is good. I think a Reflect is pretty good. We could also um, 
light screen. I think light screen is actually a little better. I think light screen is a little better. They might be worried about Sucker Punch. <laughs> they might be worried about it. So they may switch or maybe not. Okay, cool. So now all we got to do is we got to go uh, Dragonite. We got to go Dragonite here. We go into uh, Furgaref now. Furgaref. Furigaref on the Corviknight switch in because I assume they're locked in. Yeah, perfect. Agility up on, <laughs> on this thing. Agility up. And then I think we agility up again to be faster than Miascarada. And the boost is here at the boost. The boost. Hydreigon's in. Trash slice. <laughs> the boost. This is going to knock it out for sure. <laughs> ah, it's time. It is time. The power of this Pokemon will be known to all. Oh, what did they do? Fire Blast? Did they try to predict my Terrasilization type? That'd be crazy. But um, it looks like Terra Blast will still knock this out. Nice. What did they think I was going to Terra into and why did they click Fire Blast? I don't understand. Quack Quibble is here. Stored power time. Once again. Oh, you can't Aqua Jet me. I got the ability. <laughs> I got the armor tail and a forfeit. Ooh. <laughs> ah, this one is so clean though. This one is so fun. So clean. I can't believe it. Once again, another sweep on the ladder. Another sweep right here. <laughs> Ferrigraph is crazy good. Like this one. You can't revenge it with priority. You have to be faster. If you're not faster, you have to be bulky enough to withstand the hit and do something back to it. But if you can't do that either, you've lost. <laughs> it's over. Ooh. What a great game. What an absolutely fantastic game. Next one. Next one. Oh, this team is actually looking uh, kind of kind of strong, kind of good. Kind of feel like we lead with uh, Grimmsnarl here. And um, I guess just Spirit Break spam this thing. Kind of want this thing weakened for other months. So we'll just keep clicking Spirit Break. They can get as much hazards as they want. Looks pretty good. We can't really Mortal Spin on anything, unfortunately, but it's fine. Yeah, let them have their hazards. Have them all if you want. I need to weaken you, Tinglu. I need to weaken you. Nice. Okay, let's get our light screen up here. Tinglu's still around, but not for much longer. Hopefully. So the light screen up. Yep. And then uh, Spirit Break again. Let's get into Spirit here. They go uh, Garganeckle. Let's taunt. And then let's click Reflect. Because now we're basically dead with this thing. Anyways. Okay, perfect. And now we get to go uh, probably, probably, we could go Ferrigraph here potentially, or we could also go into, we go Golden Go and click Trick could be an option. We could probably do that. As they go Ting Lu, nice. We've locked it in. Let's go into Glamora here. See what they want to go for. They whirlwind me out. Okay, cool. Now, we get to Ice Spinner here. Pretty safe Ice Spinner. I assume they click... Oh, they went hard into this one. They're probably going to Wisp here then in that case. So we're going to go Glamora. And then try to get up some hazards. Uh, the, the screens are kind of getting worn off though, but like, it's okay. They do Wisp, that's fine. Let's, um... 
Let's click rocks. Get these rocks up here. Yeah, they want to block it, of course. Hopefully they lock into Shadow Ball. So that I can go into Frigoraph. Yep. Frigoraph time here. Agility up is the play. So we have the little chip coming through now for us. Um, I'm going to, I think, Terrastalize here and Terra Blast. I think is our play. It's still like, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it does nothing. Ah, oh, this team is actually really bulky. But we can click Shadow Ball here. Should knock it out. Yeah, thank goodness. So can we beat this guy's team? I think Dragonite has to be the mon that does it. I feel like that mon is going to be uh, pretty crucial. This mon's in is probably going to Terrastalize then. He's got to Terrastalize with this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought as much. I thought as much. I had a feeling that was going to happen there. That's how you predict terrestrializations. That is how you do it. Roaring Moon. Yeah, this mon is going to be a huge problem. We have to attack what's in front of us. I feel like Focus Blast is going to do a lot more, and we kind of need to hit it. So please hit your move, please. Yep. Perfect. So if we hit this move, we actually probably won the game right then and there. Um, just because we had Annihilate, we had Dragonite and stuff like that. Um, but that's okay, I don't mind losing to a focus miss. I do not mind. Maybe this thing can help. Because even if I got a little damage, like I, I feel like Focus Blast just would have been the better play overall if I hit. Assuming I hit, but this kind of works too. Defense drop though, which is annoying. A little annoying. I just noticed I got an attack boost from that too, though. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Golden goes in. They're probably gonna, probably just gonna Shadow Ball here, right? We go, um... We have to keep, I think we keep this around and we go Frigoraph. If I'm not mistaken, or... Maybe I am mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. And we just, um... No, I think we just stay in. Nice. Oh, they dropped me again and I got another boost. Nice. <laughs> That's what happens when you hacks me. It's payback time. We actually live the Shadow Ball. That's amazing. Okay, so... Yeah, now we just sack this mon here. Definitely sack here. Protosynthesis boost and attack is unfortunate though, but... Um, I think we'll be okay. I don't know if we'll be okay. I don't know. I don't really know. Because we, we have to go Dragonite here, 100%. And we have to Ice Spinner. And they crit me too. Come on now, come on now. Don't be doing that to me. We have to Ice Spinner again. Earthquake here is the play. I think we'll probably do a decent amount. Gone? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. 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 GG. Yeah, dude, you dodged my move too. Like, what, what do you want from me? You dodged my move, you like started defense dropping, spit up dropping. You're the one getting the fortune, not me. I just needed that one turn. He said, seriously? I said, GG. <laughs> ah, good game. That's a fantastic, fantastic one. <laughs> this has been a fantastic video, I must say. Ah, not bad. A perfect one to end it off on, I should say. In this one, I, I was really... Glad that we predicted the terrestrialization too and just knocked out the uh, Skeledurge. And then, but the unfortunate focus miss, you know, but we came back. We came back. That's what you love to see. <laughs> but thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed Frigoraph. This mon is dangerous. Okay, this mon should not be underestimated. When you see this mon, you should know it's going to do something like this. It's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we got the sweeps. The sweeps for uh, Frigoraph, the 6 0 sweep as well. That was clean. Um, so definitely make sure to subscribe if you want to enjoy more heat content. 
And thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.